Hello, it's Wednesday, uh, November the 18th, and uh, we come to uh, one of maybe a couple of the most well-known psalms of all. Uh, the first one, I think, would be Psalm 23. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures and so on. Uh, but the other, surely for our time at least, is Psalm uh, 100. Uh, make a joyful noise uh, to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with uh, singing. And we probably know it better in the metrical version uh, of, the, uh, of the, the psalm. In Jesus' day, uh, and, and for that matter, in the period of the uh, apostles, Psalm 100 and Psalm 23 would not have been the most popular psalm. I think the most popular psalm uh, in the New Testament is Psalm 110. It's the one that's cited most often because of its allusions to uh, Jesus and to um, the Messiah. But uh, certainly since the Reformation, Psalm 100 uh, has been a very, very uh, popular psalm. Now, notice uh, the command, uh, and, and this, is, this is an appropriate psalm, of course, for next week, for, for Thanksgiving. Uh, and the title of the psalm is a psalm uh, for giving thanks. Uh, Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Uh, it's a command. Serve the Lord with gladness and then come into his presence with singing and so very hebrew thing going on with two little bookends in verse one make a joyful noise at the end of verse two come into his presence with singing and in the middle of it serve the lord it's not just worship it's not just singing it's also a life lived for the glory of god so it's not just coming to church on Sunday collectively and singing God's praises, but the centermost part of it is serve the Lord, uh, work for him, labor for him, uh, day by day and hour by hour. And then in verse 3, know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and we are his, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. The psalmist then reminding us of who we are in Christ that we are God's people, we belong to him, we are his, uh, the sheep of his uh, pasture. The Lord is my shepherd, uh, uh, Psalm 23. Uh, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Um, give thanks to him, bless his name, for the Lord is good. Uh, his steadfast love, that wonderful Hebrew word chesed again, uh, endures forever and his faithfulness. Notice in the previous psalm, steadfast love and faithfulness were connected, again repeated um, here. Uh, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Uh, Alec Motier, uh, whose commentary on the psalms is, is just wonderful, uh, tells the story of two elderly friends of his who are invited to uh, Buckingham Palace to meet the Queen for a garden party. You know, the Queen pre-COVID, gave these garden parties, I think four or five times a year, m maybe a little more often, to people who have done extraordinary things, perhaps in their community and, and need to be recognized in some way. And uh, this elderly couple, uh, friends of Alec Moutier, uh, were driven uh, to Buckingham Palace. And uh, one of the officers uh, at the front gate said to the driver, oh, seeing their age, oh, why don't you uh, drive round to the side? It'll be less of a walk because if you go in the front gate, there's a long, long walk before you actually get into uh, the, the palace doors. And uh, their response was that when you get an invitation from the queen, you enter through the front gate, not the side gate. Uh, and. Uh, uh, this is what this psalm, Psalm 100, is saying. Um, enter his gates, uh, the gates of glory, uh, and into the very presence of God. Psalm 100. Uh, have a wonderful day. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, and you want to make sure you get all of our content, not just videos, but podcasts and ministry updates, make sure you download our app. If you think you might have missed a video, Click on our YouTube channel. A link should be down below. 
There you can see all of our videos. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything in the future, hit subscribe. If you want to be one of the first ones to know when we release a video, hit that little bell icon. And if this video has blessed you and you can think of someone else that it might help, use that share icon and send it to them. All, of course, for the edification of God's people and the glory of his name. Until next time, God bless.